Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Just a quick video to highlight some observations any one of us can make and think about when it comes to trying to work out uh, what kind of uh, Earth we are on and what the objects are doing in the sky that we see. Got a nice daytime moon there. I'm on the equator. Uh, or pretty, pretty just just north of the equator, and we can see that uh, I'm looking almost east, really, uh, to to see this moon, and uh, we can you can see where the uh, the rabbit ears are for me. So if I just pull back from that and show you in the opposite direction how the sun has taken a similar path, so. Keep this in mind that you know the sun and the moon follow similar paths and for me on the equator they pretty much go overhead just just slightly off but of course that changes throughout the year but here we have a sun which is about to go beyond those hills and then it will carry on going off into the distance so this is something you can keep in mind when with with sunsets uh, right now i'm that, that hill and those trees, there's a, there's a larger hill over there on, on the left, yeah, uh, are quite close. And so, fairly soon, the sun's going to go, you know, the, the sun's going to travel away beyond uh, those, those hills, yeah? And uh, that's pretty much what a sunset does. Uh, of course, the further away you get from something on the land that would block off the sun, then uh, the more that, that would become part of the horizon. So obviously, the further away you get, the more indistinct those hills become, and they're just simply part of the horizon. But their physical size and properties don't ever change. So it, it will, that hill will block off the sun from my elevation here. No matter how far away I am, I could be a thousand miles away, and that hill, would be if there was nothing else between myself and that hill then it's that hill that's blocking off uh, the sun it's the horizon but of course in my eyes hundreds or thousands of miles away you wouldn't see the hill no matter how strong an optical instrument you had it would just be part of the horizon condensed in our view uh, so that's that I might come back to that in a second uh, but uh, just have a look at here's here's my shadow again these are just I'm just pointing out these kind of observations that you can make and think about yeah uh, so you can see obviously uh, this is something you can do with a light source is the further away you take a light source the longer that light source will get interestingly enough you get the same results if you stick some kind of uh, something on a ball and you roll it away from the light source but of course you're getting further away from the light source in both cases so this again is one of you know if you're talking about sunlight and shadows these are these things which uh, have more than one interpretation do you see what I'm saying yeah so you can you can do two things you can you can put something on a ball and create a shadow and roll that ball and the object on the ball away from the light source and the shadow will get longer or you can have something on a flat surface and just move the light source away from it and uh, the same will happen now it's, it's gone dark now I was going to show you how the shadow my shadow might be long but then uh, it wouldn't get any higher than my actual height but uh, as I came up to the wall but uh, never mind so we can see now that um, that sun is actually setting there behind those trees uh, it's difficult to it's still quite bright so difficult to kind of uh, anyway yeah so there you go there there's a sunset happening but you know the tree line happens to be my horizon and there's the Sun and it's just doing what perspective does yeah it's, it, it's simply, you know, you could imagine an aircraft or something like that uh, re maintaining a consistent height above the Earth, but just getting further and further away, and that is what would happen to it. There you go. So really, for me, the sun has set. 
Although, of course, uh, it's actually going beyond those trees. And if I was, if I was also beyond the trees, then you know, I would get another sunset. Yeah. Uh, and as I said, uh, the further away you get from something, so you know, Mount Everest could be blocking your view, or or even clouds. Really, really simple. If you're looking across a vast ocean at a sunset, then the sun is above the clouds. And of course, the sun is going to get further away than the clouds that you can see that appear to be touching the horizon. So eventually, the, the sun will just get further away, go beyond the clouds, and just like uh, the way the sun goes behind clouds on a, on a sunny day, uh, you will then be engulfed in shadow. Yeah? So, uh, yeah, just... Uh, that's what you've got to think about. It's, so, Ed, when we come to when we come to talking about models and things like that, then the only flat Earth model per se that I advocate is a model of perspective. Perspective is the imaginary curve. That's all I'm saying. I anything that I can't prove for myself is uh, it's not part of my personal model. Don't care what other flat earthers are doing or uh, globe deniers are saying or, or, or their conjecture. Nothing to do with me. Um, just, just my own authority. So there we go. There's, there's the, uh, the, the top of uh, what may appear to be a spherical moon being lit up by a sun that appears to be lower now. Yeah, it's just perspective. So, of course, uh, you know, you don't have to be on a globe for this to happen. Even if, even if, let's, okay, let's go with the idea that the moon is reflecting sunlight. So all that needs to happen is that the the sun needs to be on a, a similar path, possibly higher path, than the moon. And uh, it's, it's lighting up the moon in this way, as we can see here. Yeah? So this, this moon phase that we can see, if we are to assume that the moon is spherical and uh, the sun is lighting up the moon or the moon is reflecting sunlight then it works equally well as an observational model with the sun uh, at a similar height to the moon above a, a, a flat earth rotating above a flat earth yeah works just fine anyway food for thought thank you very much